Hi, my name is Professor Samuel and I want to share with you um, a little bit about my math lab and this video is really designed to help you enroll in my math lab today, especially if you are a first time user. So just a little bit about the system. Um, my math lab is a um, learning management system that was created specifically for mathematics courses and it was created by Pearson Education. And with my math lab, we will be completing homework assignments, uh, quizzes, for some courses, quizzes, if you have quizzes. Um, if you're an online course, you will also have some discussion topics that will take place all in my math lab. So it's very important that you enroll in the system on the first day of class. So, um, if you recall, I did upload a document um, for you to download that's entitled Registering for My Math Lab, or it may be called My Math Lab Registration. It's to help you to be able to enroll into this very important learning management system that we'll use. Um, if, you are, if it's a face-to-face -face class, we will use My Math Lab for homework assignments and possible quizzes. I will also um, load documents that I would like you to have for the course, um, like review sheets and things of that nature. In to my math lab. If it's an online class, we will hold, our class will be held completely in my math lab. And so we, I will send course announcements and emails and things of that nature through the system. So let's talk a little bit about how to get registered, okay? If you are a student who's used my math lab in the past, then when you get to this site, and again, the uh, website is listed on the first page, uh, first or second page of your syllabus, but you can also type in www.coursecompass.com, all one word, and that's www.coursecompass.com. And once you get to this site, then you will be able to determine do you want to sign in or register. If you are a student who's used my math lab in other courses in the past, then you will already have a, be registered and have an account, and so you'll sign in using that login and your password. If you have forgotten your username or password, then you can click the link that you see here. For students who are registering for the first time, I want to kind of walk you through the steps. So if you are a new student, and you are now at, at the My Math Lab website, then you will click Student. Once you click Student, it shows you that there are three things that you'll need to be able to register for My Math Lab. And those three things include an email address. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the email address quickly. Your email address that you use, you will need a valid email address, and I would like you to choose an email address that you will check daily. Um, and the reason for that is that I will send course announcements, I will send uh, individual emails to students all through this My Math Lab system. So it's very important that you uh, have a valid email and it's very important that you choose to share or use the email that you check um, um, often. An email account that you check um, daily or at, at a minimum that you check weekly. Um, that's very important. So keep in mind, if you already have a, um, an account with My Math Lab and you're using an outdated email address, let's say you do not check your Gmail account anymore, you now use a, a, an SBC Global account. If that's the case, then you do need to be sure to update your email within that system. Um, keep it, make sure that it's all, you all, you're always using a valid email address. Okay? Number two, your instructor's course ID. So the course ID is very important. This is how you will enter your specific course. Um, and that's important because I have, at this time, I have um, trigonometry students in a, a specific class for trigonometry, for college algebra, face-to-face -face for college algebra online, for finite mathematics, for business calculus. So all of these different courses require a different course ID. So it's very important that you get this course ID from the very first page of your syllabus. The course ID, you won't miss it. The course ID is on the first page of your syllabus and it is highlighted. It's also on the second page of your syllabus and it's highlighted there as well. I also have on your My Math Lab registration document that I uploaded into um, the Lone Star Learning Management System, I also have your course ID there as well. So three different places for your course ID. First page of the syllabus, second page of the syllabus, as well as your My Math Lab registration document. Access code. So you will need to eventually purchase an access code. You can purchase this access code from one of two places. First, from one of our Lone Star College bookstores, and then secondly, directly from Pearson uh, Education on the through the My Math Lab website, which you're on at this time. 
and you can use a credit card or PayPal uh, in order to be able to purchase um, your um, access code. Also keep in mind that you are allowed to uh, use my math lab for 14 days for free um, through a temporary code and I will show you how to do that today. So you'll have 14 days from the day that you sign up to, be, to actually purchase the access code. Okay. So once you have the, these three things, your email address, your instructor's course ID, which can be found on the first page of your syllabus, and either a temporary code or your access code, then we're going to click OK Register Now. Once you click that, you're going to enter the course ID as uh, it is listed or stated on your syllabus. This is very important because I use this, I'll use this video for several semesters for several different courses. All of these different courses will have different course IDs. So the course ID that I will use for demonstration, demonstration purposes today will be Samuel 36677. But remember, you want to use the course ID that's on the first page of your syllabus. Um, that's very important because if you do not, you will enter the wrong course. So please remember, your course ID will, be, will most likely be different. This is my course ID for my um, online college algebra course for the spring of 2018. So if this is not the spring of 2018 and you're not in an online college algebra course, then you, you will be entering a different course ID number. So please remember, very important, check the first page of your syllabus for your current course ID. So when I click continue, it now says either sign in with your Pearson, Pearson account, that's for those students who already have an account through Pearson, or create an account. So if you're new, you're going to click create an account as I just did. And then you're going to enter your email address, username. You're going to create your account by entering all of this information. So email address, username, password, and very important, um, your password, we enter your password. And then you're going to enter your first name and last name as it should appear in my gradebook. Okay, so your first name and last name should be in correct, use proper etiquette in correct form. Um, capitalize your, the first initial of your, of your first name and the first initial of your last name. Um, for instance, if you are a lady and you, and you married um, last, last semester, and let's just say that your first name is Jane and your last name, your married name is now Carter. So you're Jane Carter. But you created this account as Jane Doe. And you are listed on my official roster as Jane Doe. You will need to use Jane Doe, not Jane Carter. Your name should appear as it appears on my official Lone Star roster. So please, that is very important. Check your name. Okay, once you've completed all of this, you're going to accept the license agreement. So I've created an account today, so this is all of my information that you will go in and fill out. I'm going to click I accept and then create my account. And now that it's created my, it's created my account, it's asking me, do you want to purchase an access code? Okay, if, if, do you want to purchase an, asset, an access code using a credit card or PayPal? for $103.95. That's for this particular course only. The price may vary if it is a course that has a double book. So for instance, you might pay a little bit more if you're in finite mathematics or business calculus because that is one book for two courses. So, but if it's college algebra, you would pay $103.95 for um, access to the course. Or if you've already purchased your access code from the bookstore, then you would click access code and then enter it here. So you have these two options. For those students who want to register with a temporary access code, if you look at the bottom of the screen right here where it says get temporary access without payment for 14 days, you can click that and it's going to say do you want to um, do you want temporary access and I'll say yes. Once I've done that, it says please wait and it's processing my order, which, which may take a moment. Usually you are able to enter right into the course, but sometimes you may have to wait an hour or two. But it is allowing me to have access to the course for 14 days. After 14 days, my math lab will send, an, it will send you an email to the email address that you use to set up this account that will, will explain your, or give you instructions on how to then purchase your access code after the 14 days. 
So at this time it says that I am now, I'm done, you're done. You now have temporary access to your online course for 14 days. And it even tells me use an access code, credit card or PayPal before January 23rd to stay in the course. It says check your email for a registration confirmation and payment instructions. So when you receive this in your email, remember the email address that you use to set up your MyMathLab account. Once you set up that account, um, all of your instructions will remain there. So save those instructions so that when your temporary code expires, you'll be able to log in, okay? So, and you can also print this page as your receipt. So now I'm set up, I have my account, I'm gonna go to my course. Okay. And there's my course. So you should see your My Math Lab course and it tells you that you uh, have temporary access and it will expire in 14 days, okay? So, um, and it says upgrade access. That will allow you to upgrade and actually pay for your um, access to the course, okay? So let's click spring 2018. I'm going to click this. What's taking me back? I don't know why it's taking me back there. But when you click that, normally you're going to be able to enter your course. So I'm gonna click my course again. I don't know why it went back. But I'm going to go back and now I'm going to click on this. So now that I've clicked on this, I am now able to enter the course. And you will see when you log into the course, just, and, and those of you who are familiar with my math lab, um, you, you may know uh, the, the tabs and the different areas of my math lab, but I'm going to quickly go through um, some of the important features. I also have a separate video that takes you through important features of my math lab, but let's go through some of these quickly. So when you enter the course, you will always see course announcements. So this is especially important for those students who are in my online courses because this is how I communicate with you. I'll send announcements uh, sometimes twice a week, sometimes once a week. But any announcement that I send, I'll send it as an email and then it will also be posted here. So if I click more, I can see week one, course announcements and reminders, and these are some important announcements uh, for the first day of class. So those students in my online courses, you will see these. If you're in a face-to-face -face course, I do not post as many announcements because most of the announcements we share during our 90-minute class, um, either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, okay? But your um, announcements all are listed there. If you close your announcements tab, you'll see um, updating um, your, I'm sorry, your upcoming homework assignments. So what to work on next, these are homework assignments that will be due in 27 days. And so it will always on your course homepage give you your overall score in the course. It will tell you what homework assignments you need to work on. You can view all of your assignments. It will also take you through with what is very important is a browser check. So when you're logging into My Math Lab for the first time, you want to be certain to go through and complete a browser check. You want to be sure that you are using the correct and latest browser that is compatible with My Math Lab. It will also take you through a tutorial of how to enter answers if you are new to My Math Lab. It will also give you a Pearson Tutor, uh, also offer Pearson Tutor services. So you want to take some time and kind of explore My Math Lab once you log in. Um, I do want to point out uh, some important features. One is your syllabus. So if you click on syllabus, as you see here, your syllabus will appear. And this is your syllabus for the spring 2018 online college algebra course. Not my face-to-face -face course, but online. And you'll always have access to your syllabus. So now you will be able to access your syllabus through the Lone Star Learning Management System, which right now is D uh, Desire to Learn, D2L or you'll be able to access it through My Math Lab. So once you log in, you'll have access to your course syllabus. I want to point out course materials. This is a very important tab. It's where I will um, upload any documents that I want you to have for the course. It's where you can find my lecture videos to help you learn in the course. Um, you can find your course due dates the testing centers within the Lone Star College system. Um, just a lot of good information. Again, I clicked course materials and then you can click first day of class. This is the material that I uploaded into the Lone Star Learning Management System, which is D2L. And if you click on it, you'll see an introductory video. This is the same video that was in D2L. 
Here's your video for testing options in this course. So if you forget your different options for proctored testing, you can click and watch this 10 minute video. And it just tells you what you should go through and do on the first day of class. So be sure to go through and read this particular um, page carefully. Um, again, proctor testing, to I, again, I, it's very important that you know that in this course, all of your exams, if it's an online course, will be proctored. If it's a face-to-face -face course, you won't see um, an option for proctor testing because all of your exams in a face-to-face -face course will be completed in class during your regular, regularly scheduled uh, class period. So um, you won't, your, for my face-to-face -face classes, your um, course materials may be a little bit different. But for this particular course, I have the proctor testing link. Professor Samuel's lecture videos, if you are in my college algebra course, this is where you'll find the lecture videos um, um, to be able to learn the material for the course. So for instance, for 1.4, you could find the lecture videos here. And I have a separate video that will take a little more time where I've taken a little more time to explain how exactly to find the lecture videos and how to use them. Um, not all of my online classes will have this feature, uh, but some will. So be sure that you go through and kind of take your time to find um, and explore the different areas of my math lab. For face-to-face -face courses, I also list your course due dates so you can see the actual due dates, not just the suggested due dates that are in your syllabus, okay? Um, so remember, there are a lot of features in my math lab. Here's the grade book. And when you click on the grade book, it will show you your average as of today. You can hide your overall score. You can show it. And it says that I have a zero because I have not completed any homework. I haven't completed any quizzes. Um, I haven't completed any assignments for this semester. But your, ex your um, grade book will always show all of your grades in my course, whether it's a face-to-face -face course or an online course. I will post all of your grades in this particular grade book. To send an email, one more thing I want to show you, and to send an email, you can click on course tool, I'm sorry, course tools, and it says email, and then that's how you can email. I'm the only student in the course at this time, but let's say you want to email me, your instructor, then you would click instructor and you would click add, and then you can type your email. You can upload documents if you'd like, you can send links to me, and then you can type your email. And I'll just say, hello, Professor Samuel. And then you can hit send, and it will go directly to my email address that is listed in my math lab. You can also email different students in your class this way as well. So this email feature is under, again, course tools, and you'll find it under the main menu. Okay. I do have another video that will talk more about my math lab, but this video was really designed to help those of you who are new to the my math lab system feel comfortable and also get enrolled. Thank you.